Oratio Imperata Merciful and Compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help. Pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Announcements. Bilang pag-iingat sa COVID-19, ipinapabot ng pambansang dambana ang mga sumusunod na patnubay. Palagi pong suotin ang face mask at panatilihin po ang physical distancing. Maraming salamat po sa inyong kooperasyon. Operation Laging Saklolo for Perpetual Health Kitchen. Para sa buwan ng Mayo sa taong kasalukuyan, Nakapamahagi po tayo ng 2,580 hot meals sa ating mga kapatid na homeless at frontliners. Patuloy po kaming nagpapasalamat sa inyong pagiging laging saklolo sa mga kapatid nating nangangailangan. Ang lahat po ay malugod na inaanyayahang dumalo at makiisa sa mga sumusunod. Pagdiriwang ng Misa Nobinario para sa kapistahan ng ating ina ng laging saklolo, na magsisimula sa ikadalawampu, ikalabing walo ng Hunyo, Sabado, sa ganap na ikalima at kalahati ng hapon, Hunyo dalawampu-tatlo, Huwebes, launching ng 75th year ng Baklara Novena, at sa Hunyo dalawampu-pito, Lunes, araw ng Kapistahan, ang mga oras ng Misa ay tulad ng sa araw ng Linggo na magsisimula ng alas sa isimedya ng umaga. Awit at panitikan para kay Inay Maria sa ikadalawampot dalawa ng Hunyo, Miyerkules, pagkatapos ng ikaanim at kalahati ng gabi na Novena Mass. Isang paalala po, walang sino man ang pinahihintulutan na mangulekta ng kahit na anong donasyon para sa kapistahan ng inanan lagi sa klolo. Kung mayroon po kayong anumang donasyon, tuwiran po itong ibigay sa tanggapan o sa front office ng Dambana. Maraming salamat po. Novena to our Mother of Perpetual Health, please all stand and sing the opening hymn, Immaculate Mother.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten the sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Please be seated. Last week, our Mother of Perpetual Health received 3,966 petition letters, 2,042 thanksgiving letters, 61 for spiritual favors, 3 for conversion, 23 for peace in the home, 2 for reconciliation, 4 for partner in life, 136 for health and recovery from sickness, 20 for delivered from all dangers, 4 for gift of a child and safe delivery, 6 for financial needs, 2 for education and success in studies, 2 for board exam, 2 for travel abroad, 11 for local employment, 1 for overseas employment, 11 for temporal favors, and 1,754 for all the blessings. Here is a thanksgiving letter from a devotee. Magandang araw po, mahal na ina ng laging saklolo. Lubos-lubos po ang kasiyahan at pasasalamat ko sa inyo dahil hindi ninyo po ako binigo sa aking mga panalangin para sa aking kapatid na lalaki. Last December 2021 po, nang mag-take ng board exam ang kapatid ko para sa criminologist Labis-labis pong dasal ko at ng buong pamilya namin na nawapo ay makapasa yung kapatid namin. At dahil po sa inyong biyaya, di nga po kami nabigo. Noong February 2022, po ay lumabas na po ang resulta at sobrang naiya kami sa tuwa kasi nakapasa po yung kapatid namin. Tunay pong napakabait nyo po, inanan lagi sa klolo. Pagkatapos po ng result na exam nila, Tuloy-tuloy na po ang proses para maka-apply siya sa PNP. Hindi man ganun kabilis at kadali, marami pa rin pong pagsubok ang dinaanan namin at ng kapatid ko. Pero lahat yon ay dinasal namin sa inyo at naniniwala po kami na pag para talaga sa kanya ang pagiging pulis ay ibibigay niyo po sa kanya. Sa ngayon po ay kasalukoyang nasa Regional Training Center 1 na po ang kapatid ko. At patuloy pa rin po kaming nananalangin na gabayan po silang lahat na naroroon at sana malampasan nila ang training. Inananlangin sa klolo, hindi po mangyayari itong lahat kung hindi dahil sa inyo. Almighty Father, Black Nazarene, Saint Nino, Saint Joseph, all saints and angels, and to our Mother of Perpetual Health, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat-lahat ng biyaya. Nagmamahal. And the letter is signed. Please all stand. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven but whoever obeys and teaches these commandments 
will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Tayo daw pong mga Pilipino ay kilala bilang mga maabilidad at madiskarteng mga tao. Kakibat nito ay tayo din daw po ay mga matitipid at kaya nating gawa ng paraan ang lahat ng bagay, wag lang natin siyang itatapon. Isang magandang halimbawa po ay sa pagkain. Kami po mga taga Batangas ay... Isa sa pinakamasarap naming delicacy ay ang sinaing na tulingan. Ang sinaing na tulingan po, um, unang araw kapag niluto, sinaing na tulingan pa siya. Kapag kinab- inabot siya ng kinabukasan, dadagdagan siya ng gata para maging sinaing na tulingan na may gata. At kapag may natira pa, ipiprito siya sa umaga para maging almusal. So siya ay piniritong sinaing na tulingan na may gata kahapon. At kapag may natira pa, yung mga maliliit na piraso ay isasama sa sinangag. So ang tatawag sa kanya ay sinangag na may sinang, sinaing na tulingan na nagkaroon ng gata noon na pinirito kahapon na ngayon ay nasa sinangag na. This is one of the example of our traits as Filipinos who does not throw things. Instead, we develop the same material into another thing that is useful. In other words, we upgrade the things that we have. And we come up with new things from the old or used materials. Hanggat kayang ayusin o dagdagan, hindi, hindi natin itatapon ng isang bagay. Sa mga salita ng mga kabataan ngayon, ina-upgrade lang natin ng isang bagay. Hindi natin siya itinatapon. In our gospel today, Jesus presented an upgraded version or upgraded understanding of the laws of Moses or the laws of Sinai or the Ten Commandments during his time. Pero bakit sinasabi nating ipinresenta ni Jesus ang ibang updated or upgraded version sa mga tao noon? During his time, the people were struck on or stuck on the idea of the law that was given to them by their forefathers. Kumbaga, sa kanila noon, kung ano lamang ang itinuro sa amin, ito lamang ang aming susundin. Ipinasa siya sa iba't ibang henerasyon na umuunlad ang lugar, umuunlad ang sibilisasyon, pero naiiwan sa kanila yung thought or yung idea noong, noong unang-unang panahon pa. However, as time passed by, People forget the real essence of the law. People forgot why it was given to them by God during the, those times. And here comes a Jesus Christ who is teaching them another perspective of this law. Kaya akala ng mga tao, binabago ni Jesus ang mga batas noong panahon ngayon. Because Jesus is teaching them the other side of the law that they did not see that they even forgot during those times. And because of that, it caused them confusion. In following these old rules, or these rules, it caused um, unjust, unjust na parusa. or in being stuck with this old idea of the law, people were inconsiderate of what is happening to their brothers and sisters. Here comes a Jesus Christ who taught them the other face of this law, 
the very reason, the roots why it was given to us people. And that reason was love. The love of God who does not want His children to be away from Him. The love of a God who does not want the people to, to be far from His love. And that's why there is a law. Jesus gave them an upgraded understanding of the law. It is the same law, but with a different perspective. And it is coming from the perspective of love, of compassion, and of deep concern to others. Jesus invited his disciples to see the law in a different perspective. In our present time, most of us go to the church. We follow the rules. We follow the law. We kneel. We kneel down. We stand up. We pray deeply. Marami sa atin nakapikit habang nagdadasal. Pero minsan po ba naitanong natin sa ating sarili, bakit ko ba ginagawa ang mga bagay na ito? Because if we will be able to answer it, on the perspective that Jesus wants us to see, hindi na magkakaroon ng katabi sa simbahan na walang pakialam. Karamihan dito sa atin, lalo dito sa Dambana, you will see people who are praying deeply and deeply, but does not move any inch kapag kami nararamdaman silang nangailangan. You can see people who close their eyes but they only pray for themselves not even pray for their seatmates and that is the challenge of the gospel today for us to see the deeper meaning of the laws that are given to us the deeper meaning of our faith that is rooted in the deep love of God to us but it does not settle on that love. We are called to upgrade our faith by understanding why we follow God. We are invited to see the beauty of a faith that is not just left in the past, but journeys and evolves with us in the present. In other words, our praying, our witnessing of our faith it's not just limited, limited inside the four corners of our church. Instead, it entails or it is inviting us to express our faith by helping other people. By seeing that it is not only me who is praying. That there is an underlying love that is always present in my faith. To understand our faith is to have an upgraded understanding of why we have that faith. To have an upgraded understanding of it that leads us to love more, to serve more, and to respond more, especially those who are in need. As we continue our novena, let us pray to God to give us a deeper understanding of our faith to give us an upgraded faith that is not only limited to ourselves, but also radiates love from God to other people. Amen. Please all stand and sing Mary Immaculate Star of the Morning. Thank you. 
Novena Prayer Dear Mother of Perpetual Health, From the cross Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that He answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that anyone who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share His resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena. We earnestly ask you, our mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we specially entrust the youth of the day. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace, like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor. 
so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire human family. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Health, Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Health, pray for us. We sinners call to you, loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for all people. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ, mercy, and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may grow in the love of Christ the neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may all respond to the challenges of the affliction brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic with courage, hope, and support for one another. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may strive to be true Christian by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray Pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interest at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care for and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may defend human dignity and the sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may promote the equality of men and women. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you give us Mary to be our mother ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Please all stand and sing, Mother of Christ.
Thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love, to save us in all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession and especially through the novena inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love. To the most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Briefly pause to remember the sick people to pray for. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows. In order to show us clearly 
the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. given them bread from heaven, the source of our happiness. Let us pray. Lord God, by the paschal mystery of the death and resurrection of your only Son, you accomplished the work of our redemption. Full of trust, we proclaim the paschal mystery in the sacramental signs of the Eucharist. Help us to see ever growing in us the fruits of your saving work through Christ our Lord. The divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.